welcome back welcome back to another episode long time no see of our pokemon ultra moon nuzlocke it's been i think another week since my last episode uh this month of august has just been uh slacking on breezy's aspect uh we had the vacation i didn't get pre-recorded enough for it then we got back from the vacation i got i don't know two episodes done maybe or one episode done before the subathon started uh because i got sick when i got back from vacation and then subathon happened and i didn't do recordings during it like i kind of planned to and uh yeah um but we're back now we're back schedule is back in effect i'm probably going to put up a couple extra episodes on some of the days that are kind of off because we only have one playthrough going at the moment and excuse me and um i feel pretty bad because um i should because i'm doing a terrible job um, but we have a bear tick here. Do I think Forrest lives an attack from a bear tick? I feel like he does. I'm going to double into bear tick. Flame charge from you. Plus, oh, that did not do a lot. I see wind. Split damage. We should eat that up pretty okay. Crits Forrest. Wow, what a cheating McGee. And then gear grind. Okay. Um, that's fine. The flame charge will KO the bear from here. And I guess I go into like Skittles. I got flame burst. Level 18. Should be able to take whatever from Clink. Pretty easily. And you know, get some extra experience being out here. Shadow are so cool. Love it. Love the Pokemon. I'm pretty happy with our team composition at the moment. Um, I still... I would like to replace... A Moongus with like... Maybe a different Grass Poison. If it was like a Venusaur or something like that instead, that'd be pretty good. Something more of like a mixed bag of like... Offensive and defensive. Or maybe Hippo for a different type of ground type. Maybe like a faster offensive ground type. Hippo's really good though. But, aside from that... Um... It seems looking good. And we're going to get an encounter right here. So let's pick up this KO. Uh, and I did save this encounter for this episode. I need to make sure what route we just got on, though. I need to make it, yeah, pay attention to it. Because we did just get onto a new route. I should probably check what Chandler can learn. Probably a good idea. Excuse me. This Paniola Ranch. This is Route 6. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop leading with you. And I'm going to lead with Skittles. I need to get you some experience. I need to get you some experience. Oh, what is this? Ice gem. Okay. Um, Route 6. New encounter. Let's see what we get. It is a Tynamo. Electros is kind of an interesting Pokemon. Um, how do I feel about that? Of course. Um, stay with pencil. Hmm. How do I feel about an Electros? I think it's a really high level evolution, if I remember correctly. Not a Pokemon I've really used much of. Obviously, it's not going to have Levitate, so it's not like the same, but it's still a pure electric type. It's pretty bulky. It's got a really, you know, an interesting natural level of moveset, so it could work it. Um, Print cleanup notification. There were print jobs that were trying to get printed, and they weren't going through. Okay, good to know. Let's pull up nicknames, because I have not put, looked at these nicknames in a while. It really felt weird not doing an episode for so long, honestly. Uh, let's go with first one. Most recent comment. Pi was getting caught up. We're going to name this Pi. Electros the Pi. Um, do I want to add it to the party? I'm pretty sure. I'm going to look it up. I'm pretty sure this thing's like a really high level evolution. Kind of Uh it evolves into electric at 39 and then electros with a thunderstone so the way it would work in this game is it would evolve at level 30 and then a thunderstone because it's a two-stage evolution could put it on the team 
We're not too below level 30 right now. Um, low key, I feel like Peaches is kind of underwhelming. Pencil's been kind of underwhelming too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it for now. Sent to the box. Iron ball placed in your bag. Okay. Okay. We'll leave it like that for now. Oh, are you gonna? Are you gonna battle me right now, buddy? Is that what we're doing? I'm gonna paralyze heal in case that's what's gonna happen as soon as I like get off this menu, and potion you up. Um, what was I just looking for? Repel. Where are my repels? There we go. Are you about to battle me? Yep. There's an item behind him, so I just wanted to go through the grass and go get it. And I want to put the repel up so I can sneak by without getting interrupted by an encounter. And he caught me before I did anything. Oh, that's a bad lead. That's a bad lead for me. Not too bueno, dare I say. Right on power level 20, though. Let's go into pencil. You have dig. Man, do I have no better ground moves? Oh, huh, guess not. Guess not. And I'm also drinking a Celsius today. My wife bought a case of them for the vacation we had. And only drank like two of them, so we brought it home. And I didn't feel like going to the... You know, going to Dunkin'. Or making a coffee. I've been drinking a lot of coffee the past couple days. So I was like, let me try one of these. And to be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's a lemon-lime one, I think. I don't know. It's all right. It's all right. Can you... <sighs> Can you open your eyes, pencil? Please. Please, you're only minus one accuracy. You should be okay. Thank you. Thank you. The heathenry. The heathenry. Mm -mm, the Primarina. Oh, boy. That's not good for me. Um, FAFSA walls you, I guess, though. FAFSA is the wall. Also, speaking of FAFSA, I had some... Oh, you went for the icy wind. What a good play. Oh, that hurts. But with the black sludge plus mega drain, I'm in no danger. And you went for aqua jet. Okay. I don't know how the AI works. Uh, but speaking of school, I think I'm going to be going in the spring. I don't think this semester is going to work out for me, unfortunately. Um, I honestly keep forgetting to look back into it, but I had gotten an email about something saying like, I don't know, some of the, the money part of it. The whole point of me going was the fact that I found out there was like a free program and I wasn't trying to spend money on school because it's kind of just something I wanted to do. Because it was free, it made me incentivized to do it. It's not something I'm trying to like make a big investment in or nothing like that because, you know, I do this for a living. You know, I don't need to go to school. I can be a little stoop and still be successful. It was just something, you know, I was interested in doing because it was an opportunity that was free. But they're saying it's pretty much not going to be. So I don't know. Are they going to fight a wild Pokemon at a higher level than me? Oh. Hey. Okay. Didn't know you were here. Gonna be honest. Did not know you were here. Oh my gosh. Can you stop? Yikes. Just trying to grab an item, buddy. It's a TM. Parabolic charge. Parabolic charge. Is that the one that's stronger in the terrain? Um, it, No, it's the one that recovers HP. Ooh. Only two bad Pokemon can learn it, but... Ooh. Oh, you can't learn Lava Plume. You can learn Flame Charge. It's not really that great for you, though. Flame Charge on Hippo is not bad. Glaciate's really good for Skittles. Get rid of Smog. This shit's really good. Let's do that. Okay, let me not fight another one of those Kyogres, please. 
Um, and what do we got going on here? Uh, I don't. I don't think we battle here. I think I just. Oh, do we? Do we fight? Yeah. Okay. Quick little team skull battle. No big deal. No big deal. What you got for me, Mr. Team Skull? Mr. Skull, what you got going for me? Another Goomy. 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 In the brain. I said Goomy. Goomy. On the brain. Mm -mm, mm. Uh, we got Glaciate for you, so we are staying in. I almost feel like now's a good time where I could probably shut the experience share back off, but the levels seem to... this something with this game I've always had problems with doing randomizers is... Like, pacing the levels for the team well enough. I feel like I always feel like I'm super overleveled, and then there's a random jump in the levels. And I end up being underleveled and losing. So, I'll keep it as is for now. These random battles, like, in between is where I feel like it gets confusing. Because, like, oh, that guy's level 20. And my whole team's over level 20. I should be overleveled. And then the next battle I do, they'll be level 34. And it's like, whoa. Hey. Okay. I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm not that overleveled. Um... But let's see what we got going on here. Um, we gotta go to the battle thing over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My champ just out here flexing, just doing his thing. Um, I need to heal up. Need to heal, and I want to check the store here and see what they got going on. Let's check the store. Mm, 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 mm. What you got for me? A TM shop. Oof. Core Enforcer. Pokemon has... If the Pokemon the user has inflicted damage on has already used their moves, this move eliminates the effect of the target's ability. Dragon Pulse is amazing no matter what. Core Enforcer... What's corn corn force is like a Zygarde move or something, isn't it? I've never used that move. It's Zygarde, yeah. It's base 100, 100 accuracy, special dragon move. Um, that's broken. But I'm broke. Do I have something I can sell? Power lens, an absorb bulb. Stuff I'm not going to use. Red card. I'll at least sell one choice band. I doubt I'll use a choice band, but you never know. Scope lens, maybe. Fossil I'll keep. Ooh, a pearl string. Oh, we sell those all day, baby. Light clay. I'm not going to be setting up screens. Macho brace. No, thank you. Um, Stardust. Ooh, that's a great ball. Stardust. Nugget? Any other expensive things? Pearl? I don't use gems. And they sell for a decent amount, so... Alright. Poison gem as well. Alright, we got enough money to buy both. And although they're both dragon special attacks, who can learn what is not consistent? So, this gives me an extra chance of people being able to learn the moves. So I'm going to do it. Um, I'm also going to see if Skittles can learn either of them. Can learn both. Okay. Um, then whoever can learn Core Enforcer, I use. I use it on them. It doesn't make sense not to. Um, it's just better Dragon Pulse. Parabolic Charge. No one good can learn. All right, cool. Repel War off. We don't need to use another one. Let's go up here. This battle, I do not count this battle towards Nuzlocke. It's a free-for-all battle that happens. And I'm pretty sure I end up with one Pokemon and they all end up with like six or something. I don't remember. I noticed something about this battle is like weird. And like, it's just not really like a fair way the randomizer makes it go. So I just don't sweat it. I don't sweat it. I think it's something like the first one, to, first Pokemon that faints ends the battle. So I mean, I, I don't think I'd always even lose a Pokemon during it, but I mean, it's a it could be a potentially three v one depending on what they have. So I just try not to sweat it. 
So I think they just throw whatever your first Pokemon is in the battle. I don't think you really pick anything. Look at that Charizard. Look at that Gyarados. What are the what are the guys you think they got? Titar? Titar. Saw the green. What's the last one? What do you think the last one is? Haxorus. What? I would never have thought Haxorus would have been the one they would have put there. You actually have a Charizard. That's so great. He was in the Charizard corner, was he not? You have a Moltres. Yikes, guys. Yikes. Um. So, yeah, I have one Pokemon. They all have two of them have three and one of them has one. So I think Glaciate's probably the best play. Hits all of them. You endure. You endure. And smoke screen me. Oh, I put smoke in my eyes. And you're whipping tails. This affects everybody, right? Glaciate didn't miss anyone. That's incredible. Let's just slow them all down, though. Oh. In a roll up, Barry. Of course you did. It is lagging so much. Corn Forcer hits everybody too? They're all higher level than me. I'm going to Glaciate again. Swaps out. See what I mean? They got like whole squads out here. All right, Glaciate. It's doing nothing to them, but. Ember. Ember. All right. Um. I'm going to click Hex on Moltres. Huntail with a Sucker Punch. Oh, that's so gross. See what I mean? See what I mean? What are the odds? Like, they have multiple Pokemon. I can't switch. It's a 3v1, potentially. I don't sweat that. I don't sweat that. It's some test for the battle system. The name's Kiawe, the fire captain. You can get to Wela Volcano Park from Route 7. I'll be waiting on the peak. If you plan to see your island challenge through the end, climb to the top with your strongest team. I got you, baby. I got you. You know, doing the island challenge? No, you're too cool for that? Too cool for that? All right, bud. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Um, let's... Go to Route 7. That doesn't actually count anything, right? Yeah, I'm still at full HP and everything. Okay. Uh, let's go... Pretty sure there's an item back here. Yep. Blue Shard. Cool. Useless. Uh, we can get to Route 7. We can get another encounter. And then we could start working our way up to the totem battle. Route 7, I believe... You can fish for an encounter or surf. I could fish. I haven't fished yet. And I am a master fisherman. Mm, maybe not. Is there another spot? No. Okay, we're going to surf. We'll just surf then. Oh, I don't want to battle you. I don't like how the screen stays dark. I've never had that happen with this game before. Must be something in, like the settings that with the emulator that I messed up. We got a Rotom. Yes. 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 Rotom is like exactly what I wanted. Legitimately exactly what I wanted. I'm going to go for a Hex. Get some damage. You're not weak to it. You're not status. So yeah, I shouldn't do too much. Uproar can't touch me. Oh, I can get so many different options with Rotom. I'm so excited about this. <gasps> How did that do? Oh, do you have like multi-scale? I feel like that first one did so much less than the second one. Unless that was just a crazy damage roll. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Benny, week off, part-time, slacker, lazy bum. Those are great nicknames. Thanks, bud. Thanks. Gosh, I'm going with Twinkie. I'm going with Twinkie. Thank you, Clam. Let's go with Twinkie. I feel like this looks like a Twinkie. That was spelled. Is that right? So I'm doing it. Looks fine. Uh, let's see your summary. What is your ability? You have a multi. It is multi scale. Uh, I am going to add you to the party. Four. 
I could make this any typing I want. I could go Grass Electric, get rid of FAFSA. Poison typing's kind of nice, though. I didn't wait to ground with you, you, and you. So, fly the Rotom Fan's probably the best play. Although, that makes... You know, Ice Week, Ice Week, and then another Ice Week. So... Uh, Rotom Mo would be neutral. Weak to Ice, though. I have to look at all the Rotom abilities, too. That's going to be the problem. You know what? Maybe I'd leave him behind for now. I'm going to put you in the box for now. Put you in the box for now. Maybe we'll do this totem battle and add you to the team after we can go. Because after this, we get the Charizard fly. And we can fly back to the other island. And we can... I love the Magmar walking around over there. Um, we can eventually go and get uh, all the forms changed. Because you change it at the very beginning in uh, the professor's... Professor Kukui's... A Shedinja. You change it in Kukui's lab. All right, Shedinja. I can't touch you. We know that. You have one HP. I kind of... I'm going to catch this just because it'll make it so I don't have to catch it ever again. Um, you also are kind of dangerous to me because you're a ghost type. So I'm going to switch out. <sighs> I never see Shedinja. It's kind of weird how infrequently I've seen Shedinja in my randomized playthroughs. It will have Wonder Guard. It should, at least. Should keep Wonder Guard. If it doesn't, this thing is 100% useless. Um, although, in a playthrough like this, it's not completely useless. Because people don't have, like, randomized movesets. So it might be a time where it's worth bringing. Uh, let's go with... You know, I'm going to go with Lazy Bum. Lazy Bum, because Shedinja is going to be one of those. He's going to do nothing for the team. Let me see. Do you have one to guard? You do have one to guard. Okay. We're going to put you in the box. That's going to be a Pokemon that, if that is on the team, we're down bad. Like, things are not going well, if that ever ends up on the team. That is going to be a last, absolute last resort. That we just have a spot on the team to fill. We have nothing worth putting on the team. And I just want to have a full team. So I put it on there. In case we're in a sticky situation and I come across a Pokemon that can't touch me. Okay. Who do I want to lead with for this? I think Dragonite. Dragonite's just so good. Obviously the four times weakness is a little scary. But it's just so strong. And I'm a little scared. Okay. I like how they still blink. All right. Well, it was different than the previous dance. The middle Marowak. But how? Very spectacular. Pretty sure like all of them are different, but a hey, Nitto King. All right, this is perfect for me. I'm ready for this. I need to listen to this voicemail. I think it's an automated thing, but yep, it is. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing important. All right. Excuse me. Honestly, would have liked to lead with Chandelure for this, because Glaciate's really good. Uh, for this double... <laughs> the double battle that, you know, ends up happening when the totem calls in a friend. So, might be worth switching to it, but... Um, oh, they're smiling? I actually wasn't paying attention. I thought it was going to be a more noticeable change. But I was incorrect. All right, Tang Growth. All right, this is a good lead for me. Because you're weak to ice. And this probably still does more than an Oblivion Wing, even though your special defense is really bad. Um, I don't think Flame Charge takes you out. It got to, right? It got to. I just go crash it that much. Yeah. 
Get him out. Giga Drain? Yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you. Amazing. All right, last one. The total for this isn't a Salazzle, right? Isn't it something else? Isn't it? Wait, is this Salazzle still for this? Yeah, it is. It is. Is this Salazzle in the first one, too? Did they not change this one? Oh, no, it is Marowak. It's, so, it's that same setup, but Salazzle pops up. That's why I thought that was going to happen again. And it's actually a Floet, which is not good. What are you raising? It's Speed Row Sharply. Okay. It's just a Floet. It's not the Eternal Floet, so it's not super strong. But you are still a Fairy type, and I am still weak to Fairy. I don't like that. I'm going to go FAFSA. Really wish I had a Poison move, man. But I black sludge on you, and I'm gonna have to. You sh I shouldn't have anything. No threat from this floet. This floet should be completely irrelevant. Speed boost. <laughs> That's hilarious. What's your ally Pokemon? Please be not threatening at all. That's very threatening. Um. I'm. I should be faster. I'm gonna growth. For wish. Who was that? They went for wish. It had to be floet, right? No, it had to be Floet. I don't know if Musharna gets Wish. Psybeam. Okay, we eat that up. We eat that up. And now we're plus one. I'm going to Giga Drain the Musharna. The Floet just clicked Wish, so there's no point in attacking it. Does it have... If Lucky Chant, Wish... What else do you have? Do you have, like, no attacks? Oh... Okay, they did about 60. Um, Alright, I'm going to Giga Drain the Floet because it should do more damage and hopefully I'll get more HP back. Didn't do that much more damage, going to be honest. Okay, we're in trouble. I could probably live one more if I go for the Musharna again. But... I have Mega Horn on Ava. Special defense is terrible, though. Oh, I could go into you, probably. Mushana is just clicking Psy Beam. I'm going to go into Forest. I don't think I needed to switch. I don't think I needed to. And I do have Oblivion Wing, so I can get recovery if it's doing a lot. I have to I have to heal his confusion if I can. I can't. That's so annoying, man. I'm gonna ice go crash the flow up. If I hit myself I have to switch again, this is gonna get so ugly. Thank you. It's my KO. It should. No, Floet's a tank. No crits. We get it. We get it. Um. Wait, what did Mushana do? Did Mushana click Lucky Champ? Gonna flame charge the Floet. Oh no. Oh thank God. Oh, if I didn't hit this right here, the wish would have landed and it would have recovered him like back to full, and that would have sucked. That would have been so bad. All right. Ava with level 29, Side Beam again. 81, 259. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We are safe and sound. Let's just Icicle Crash. Can you please get out of confusion? Oh my gosh. He does have Lucky Chant. Okay, two of them were clicking Lucky Chant. I should snap out here. Thank you. And then we miss. 56 to 38. You confused me again, are you? Serious right now? Oh my god. I'm gonna super potion up. Alright. Well get a nice long episode for the re for the return of the breezy. For the return of the breeze. 
I don't even want to ice. I'm just going to Oblivion Wing. I don't even know if Oblivion Wing is 100% accurate. I'm pretty sure it is. It doesn't even matter. I just hit myself anyway. I cannot believe we got two Confuses back to back. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. I was going to say, no way I hit myself like four times in a row, right? Okay. Good chunk. Craziness. Then a crit. Oh, you heathen. All right. We're breaking out and we nice crash. All right. We're good. We got it. Easy dubs. We get the Firinium Z or whatever it is. Uh, we get access to the Charizard fly. So now we can fly around. We'll go back and I'll check out all the Rotom abilities uh, to see where we're sitting with those and kind of like figure out what uh, form I'll end up using. Rotom's an amazing Pokemon, so I definitely would like to use it. Uh, so I just got to figure out which form I'm going to go with. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, this video will probably go up before I... Rec I'll probably have this video up for like a day before I record the next one. So I can get your comments, get some more nicknames and everything before we go further in the game. We get fossils available in the next episode. So got a lot of got a lot of team, team changes potentially coming up. So leave nicknames. Uh, make sure you like the video. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.